Hello, Cheryl. Hi, it is so Hi. nice to see you. So great to see you. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you for being here with me today. So congratulations for your um, new single, Situationship, right? Tell Thank us you. more about that. Okay. Um, so Situationship is a song uh, that I made since 2021, actually. But I just had a long break because I was on a recovery stage because I had... Um, uh, a cervical issue like on the back of my neck that stopped me from playing music for a bit but now I'm back and um, again I don't think I can drift far off um, with writing aside from talking about you know my romance life and how I view love as a whole because I, I do feel like it represents a lot of how I started started songwriting too it was basically because i wanted to sing for someone i wanted to serenade i also like that it's personal to me and um, this song describes just a phase in my life right now where i realized i i don't date people for short periods of time and i date them for a really long time to a point where i have been single for about two years now i'm available everybody <laughs> but with that time, I realized uh, I've been more selective into my partners and relationship because melihat ke belakang hubungan-hubungan aku sebelumnya selalu mendapatkan si situationship ini dan situationship itu apa sih sebenarnya? Ya ketika ada banyak sekali perbedaan antara hubungan aku dan pasanganku pada pada zaman itu dan tervalidasi oleh orang-orang di dekatku dan uh, tervalidasi juga sama aku sehingga mungkin tiga tahun lamanya tidak seindah tiga bulan pertama and and that's what I mean karena perbedaan mungkin prinsip um, banyak sekali ya kayak mungkin yang sekarang lagi jadi banyak perbincangan dari perbedaan agama dari perbedaan suku dari perbedaan banyak lah gitu and that's what I am talking about here um, in a situationship that can't make my relationships last. <laughs> okay, but it sounds so complicated in a bit, but... <laughs> it is complicated. I'm so sorry. I'm still trying to like juggling this. I have the whole day to practice how I'm going to tell this to people. <laughs> mm, yeah, right? But I think that this um, word of situationship is kind of um, more popular. I mean, like we are um, as a conversational. It's it's a conversational words. Do you think so? Yeah, it is. It is. A lot of people have been going through this so-called situationship. Kayaknya semua orang pasti punya caranya sendiri untuk menyikapi katanya. Makanya aku juga tidak mencoba untuk memberikan definisi yang um, apa ya yang general gitu hanya itu apa itu yang yang that it's what it means to me from my explanation but it doesn't have to be that for some other people nah, yeah yeah I yeah agree with that but I really I'm really glad that you are come back because um um hopefully you're uh going well like mm -hmm. uh, as physical mentally and everything yeah I recovery well I hope so <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, hearing or uh, listening to your story um, previously, it uh, really sounds like the song is very personal to you. Yeah. Um, and tell us more, is it really the story from your personal uh, point of view or something? It it truly is actually. Karena, hmm. karena aku merasa <clears throat> banyak sekali pertanyaan ya terutama karena um, aku di dalam fase hidup yang bisa dibilang quarter life crisis I'm 27 this year so a lot of people are always asking oh who's your who's your partner now and who are you seeing and everything else I, I keep telling people it's just like look the next time you're gonna hear from me and who my partner is will probably be an invitation to the wedding but if that's not coming around anytime soon I don't think I'm going to be exposing it to anybody because I don't want to jinx the relationship anymore and um yeah i think that i think it's just about that i i just 
I don't really want to be able to to force the narrative of a relationship, but you know, people be asking that. Wait, actually, I forgot what your question was. What was your question? <laughs> Nah, is, is it your personal story? But yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It is. It yeah, is. Yeah, you answered that. Yeah. That that's that's how I feel about relationships. I think I think a lot of people. I'm so sorry. A lot of people um, assume that it's just about me too. But honestly, for when when you're single, you have a lot of friends. Honestly, mm. do you agree? Mm. Yeah. Because they're all you look for, right? Yeah, my friends are people who are already married, or or they're dating someone, or they're getting serious, and I'm just there being um, the list, the listener. <laughs> and like how banyak banget, banyak banget dari mereka yang sudah mau ke jenjang pernikahan, eh sudah di dalam sebuah pernikahan ada masalah, hmm. mau masuk ke jenjang pernikahan ada lagi masalah. Jadi hmm. aku yang kayak. Mungkin sampai aku bisa paham ini buat diri aku sendiri baru deh di situ aku coba uh, untuk seriusin sesuatu gitu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because you you like listen to different kind of story from your friends, you know, you know that their, their struggle, you know. That kind of that, yeah. that kind of story just, you know, influence you to make this song maybe. Yes, dan dan lucunya kayak yang yang sering terjadi itu adalah Kalimat yang selalu menjadi wejangan atau kayak titipan terakhir buat mereka to make it about me too. They're like, um, Cheryl, yang penting sih kayak when you know you know it's the person, but at the same time um, jangan salah ya. Terus kayak, huh? what should I do? No, tapi kayak jangan salah, ha? Huh? Gimana? Ya udah gitu. I think what they mean is just like when you risk it, risk your all in a relationship, you will. But if you If you're not willing to do that, ya itu juga bakal bakal um, ke manifestasi sendiri dan maybe things mm. won't turn out the way that you you expect. So I think every relationship has um, their own struggles. Yeah. But I feel that it's solely for that person and their partner to decide what the struggles are for them. Mm. Um. So yeah. I just don't want. Basically, with this song, I don't want to end up being with someone I don't want to be with. And ah, yeah, that that's is, true. That's really like important. I'm saying a little prayer to myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so with this song, you write yourself. I mean, the whole process of the song of situationship, you write it on yourself. Yeah, I did. I did. Mm. I, I arranged it. Um, aku juga kerja sama untuk produksinya sama Petra Sihombeng. And he's a good friend of mine too. So, yeah, I can talk to him as 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 a married man, and I'm also very close uh. to his wife too. And just hearing it together, they're like, "Yeah, that happens." I'm like, "All right." <laughs> so, how did you um, get involved with the the music um, production? Uh, because you said earlier, you're not. You're not alone. You um, collab. You collab with uh, some other musicians like Petra Sihombeng, and yeah. then how? How? how mm. Can you tell us the, the the whole process of the um, production? Sure. Mm. Um, so basically, I've been messing around with um, a lot of production tools as well. So I started off on making a demo. Like, say, I have a studio now at my house. So like. Everything's in my reach. I like to produce it myself, and with Petra, I send it over to him, and then he will refine the music, and mm. then uh, we will collaborate into what falls in what section. So I have a lot of creative control these days with uh, how I do my music, and also I didn't want people to stress on, oh, what's this song about? Is it relatable or not? It's just like, do you like hearing it? If you like it, then go ahead. If you don't, well, then maybe it's not for you. I just don't. Care as much these days about making what hits because we never really know. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, as long as you're happy, as the because you produce your music, and as long as you're happy, I think that's that's the the important thing that we can yeah see, right? I mean, I the guess music, so. The listeners will. Uh, I mean, the music will found their own listeners. If oh yeah, definitely, right? I agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, if we talk about the situation, you just uh, released the lyric video, right, uh, on YouTube. Yeah. And um, what I found interesting is the CC, the caption. <laughs> that's, that's really <laughs> hilarious. I mean, like, it's really relatable. It's very conversational, like the, the words. How did you come up with that ideas? I, after, like, I did, I did half of the song. Um, so this is the first time I, I've made my own YouTube captions. This is going to sound so... Oh, yeah. So, ini aku bakal sombong banget sih. Tapi ini pertama kali aku upload video YouTube sendiri. Setelah terakhir dulu-dulu, awal-awal mulai di YouTube bikin cover sendiri. Ini pertama kalinya lagi di kayak aku upload. I've always had a label to do it. But these days I'm, I'm indie, right? And um, I just made my own label called Safe Space Studios. And with that label, um, I, I want to torture myself by understanding every angle and every aspect of what it takes to release music as a musician. And um, as the CEO of the only person in the company too, <laughs> I'm like, um, yeah, I think I have to learn everything. So that was like the first time I uploaded my own captions. And I realize it's a lyric video. Why do I have to put subtitles over another <laughs> lyric video, right? That's redundant. So I was like, what do I do? And people keep saying they don't understand the song. I'm just like, all right, here, I'll explain it and translate it sekasar mungkin buat kalian. Aku capek jawabin orang yang kayak, gue gak ngerti, udah gini, lihat YouTube caption aja. Enggak, enggak maksa. <laughs> Kalau ngerti mah ngerti aja. Kalau enggak ya enggak apa-apa juga kok. But that's fa- fun though. I mean, <laughs> entertained by it. So yeah. Um, oh yeah, you, you mentioned earlier that you own your, um, you know, you're an indie uh, musician right now and you have yeah. more control of your own music, how you want your music to be uh, consumed, to, to be uh, promoted to the, to the public and then how you You know, everything is uh, on you. So how do you see differently and how you um, take your music now? I mean, it's it's, it's kind of different, right? Uh, the way yeah. you do it with um, previously and then now. Yeah. I think I just realized that being wherever you are and whoever is, um, is with you, um, just know that they're the best for you right now. So like... I used to be in a a part of a very huge corporation and I'm still very grateful for that opportunity but uh, I was there for 12 years and now it's my time to learn on how to uh, find my own way into the industry and um, 12 tahun itu kan udah kayak SD, SMP, SMA ya mm. gitu jadi sekarang kayak kuliah hidup bener-bener mencoba untuk melakukan ini sendiri I can only hope that um, it goes well what's different now is that um, There's a lot of expenses that as an artist we don't know about and I think the most valuable and one thing that I'm so grateful for these days that I read so well um, as as the founder of this this new label safe space that I, I I'm doing um, I'm learning how to read contracts and how to really manage the label's finances and uh, those are some things that um, I have I have to face as an adult. Yeah. yeah. Adulting. <laughs> adulting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Because it. I, I'm adulting both um, in life and and musically. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's true. Mungkin sekarang suara aku lebih rendah daripada sebelumnya. <laughs> yeah, that's something I can tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so so what are the differences if you can say your music right now, your current singles with your previous one? Um I think I think w- what's what's still the same or what's the difference? What's the differences. Oh, what are the differences? Um, the differences is that these days I I know I know what I want. Hmm. Um, yang bikin beda dari lagu-lagu sebelumnya aku tahu apa yang aku mau lakukan uh, sekarang dan aku mencoba untuk merampungkan semua lagu-lagunya dulu. Baru dari situ aku rilis satu persatu. Kayak kemarin aku baru pulang dari Bali itu sebenarnya aku kerja di sana. I was finishing like five, eight more songs actually mm. to then pick wow. into an album or whatever. I don't know. 
Wow, good luck. That's that yeah. will be your future project. Yes, yes. And oh. I own the masterships of my songs. I guess that's <gasps> that's new too. Nice. Yeah. Good luck on that. Okay, so maybe this is the second last question because mm-hmm. we have limited times. So, um, in this age of you know social media and then you know how to promote the music, etc. You know that viral content is you know people are. Um, looking at those viral content, viral music is everywhere. Yeah. How do you see that, and how do you see that kind of trend uh, to maybe your strategy to promote your songs? Yeah, um, I adore it. I adore it so much. It's like a, it's a new marketing strategy that I myself, as a musician, am still trying to hack into. But I think it's about. being really close to your community and how and what your community means to you and that way word of mouth can happen and they will talk with one another so um i appreciate and respect viral content because it's essential for the um attention span of the generation we know today yeah that's true <laughs> okay <laughs> so uh, last but not least can you please just Sing a little bit of your song. Sure. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm still so in love with you. I'm sorry if it's not untrue. Treat you like a distant lover. Cause I don't dare to tell my mother no. Didn't wanna waste your time. joining us with us today and you know I really wish you good luck for your single and then your upcoming project and wish you luck thank you so much Laras I really do appreciate it thank you so much and see you hope to see you soon bye take care bye take care